you do hear comments, oh, look at that, there's a typewriter store. Sometimes they're walking with their younger children and the parents would have to explain what a typewriter is. There's a great fascination with that. My name is Paul Schweitzer, the owner and partnership with my son Jay Schweitzer here at Gramercy Typewriter Company. My father, at the age of approximately 18, started to do some work at a typewriter store in the Gramercy Park area and realizing that he can do this on his own. He built up a small business calling himself Gramercy Typewriter. It grew to a point where he had seven different technicians working for him. After high school, myself uh, went into the service. That's what you would do back in the 1950s. Since I always liked to work on machines, my father had always said, when you come home from the Navy, when you're discharged, you'll see how I run Gramercy Typewriter. I was home from the service for just a couple of days, and he said, well, come on, let's, let's go. Buy yourself a couple of suits. When you go into an office, we want you to look like a professional. So that's why here I am, all these years later, still with a suit and a tie. That was mid-October of 1959. We worked together for about 14 or 15 years until he decided he had enough. He said, you, here's the business, you, you run it. Into the late 80s, early 90s, large corporations that we had on the service contract started to get a computer. But then they would have to have a printer. And a lot of the customers were asking me, could you now service our printers? And I realized I better learn how to do that. And there were courses from Hewlett Packard. I always had a good relationship with a lot of these corporations. I was just started to handle their printers. And all the while, I was still servicing typewriters. That's how the business just kept going. My son, Jay, at a younger age, got a job on Wall Street. He was there for many years. In 2008, he decided to come in and work with me. It's good to have family working together. After over 60 years of myself doing this, he was able to come in and take over. We had our business in the Flatiron Building. I was there for about 45 years, and we got a place at 174 Fifth Avenue, and we were there for about 15 years. But while we were working there, Jay decided he'd like to have a store. He did come across this location, 108 West 17th Street off 6th Avenue. I continued most of the repair work and some of the service calls at 174 Fifth Avenue. But two and a half years ago or so, this virus came about. We continued, but it was the offices, law firms, accounts, firms, book publishers that we would handle, they were closed. So we gave up that location, work area that we had on Fifth Avenue. We moved all that to our residence. There was still a demand for somebody to fix all these portable typewriters for private individuals. And we were just about one of the last ones left here in the city. And it got to a point where we're one of the few left in the United States. And it has kept us very busy. People Google or Instagram and look us up from all over the country. And people are shipping us machines. Most of the machines come to us in rather poor condition. They want to have them restored. They get washed out, cleaned out, oiled, new rubber, rollers, new feet, new ribbons, and all adjusted. Cases are cleaned and polished. That's our complete overhaul. A lot of writers and even younger people who want to be writers, they might have their computers and their printers, but they can see pictures or articles of how these famous writers typed on a typewriter. They can choose a typewriter. I have the desk here where they can try out a typewriter. They try many different ones to see if they can get the feel for it. We do rent machines, different parties, different organizations. Many different movies will need a prop or working typewriters depending on the year, the age that they're filming in. Over the years, I've worked on every different type of typewriter. It's hard to say a favorite 
My father, for his own personal use, used a Hermes 3000 from the late 50s and 60s. They have a very nice feel to them. I enjoy working on them. Each typewriter has its own personality. Each one has its own type style and print. It's so nice to get a letter or note from somebody who's typed it on a typewriter. It's certainly more personal. It's good to be the last typewriter store here in Manhattan.